Royals, what's going on? <laughs> it's your girl Q the Queen here. You know, just popping in. It's been a little minute. Um, shout out to everybody that are new subscribers. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to your girl. Um, you know, comment, like, all that good stuff. Let's interact. This is a family. This is a royal family. Anyway, I've been noticing some crazy um, drops from Nike lately. And I just, I've been meaning to kind of come in and talk to y'all about them and see what y'all thinking. Cause I'm like, I just, I just need some answers. I need some answers. Okay. Now don't get me wrong. Nike been killing it. They took over last year and they got a whole lot of stuff coming out that to me, I mean, I feel like they're going to take 2019 as well. But you know, certain things are taking a little too far now. I know this whole dad shoe thing is a thing right now, but they done messed around and redesigned the damn Air Monarch. Now, my Roman numerals ain't that great. But I'm going to assume that this IV means four. Alright? If I'm wrong, y'all let me know. I could have Googled it. Don't matter. Whatever. It's the Air Monarch we talking about. Who gives a fuck? But anyway, it's called the... It came out last week sometime. I don't remember the date, but it's called the Martin Rose. Martini Rose or some shit. I imagine it's some fashion designer. But the point of the matter is, y'all actually seeing this shoe, dog? This shoe looked like it got trampled by cattle and then got swept over down the stairs in the tunnel of the, of the, of the bull pen. Shoot, this shoe looked like... <laughs> I mean, look at it. It got, um, you know them, you know them, uh, them lumps on the cartoons. The cartoons when, you know, somebody get hit upside the head or something like that. It got the cartoon lumps, bruh. It got them lumps that, uh, that Martin had when he had that boxing match. That one episode when he was fighting, uh, I forget who the opponent was. It was a professional boxer he was fighting against. And then he came home and his head was like massively big. And he had the lumps, and he was asking Gina for, <laughs> he was asking Gina for the kisses, but she was looking at him like, "Nigga, you ugly." <laughs> like this shoe is crazy, and it's two hundred and fifty dollars. This is taking it too far, Nike. Just, just taking it too far. Nah, and uh, and I'm looking on the sneakers app right now, which is why I keep looking down. I'm looking at the. It was three different colorways, and I'm looking at each one, and it's pretty much a full size run still. So. I'm glad people didn't get all hyped about this shoe and this shoe is still super available because paying $250 for some for a shoe that looked like he got beat the fuck up I mean and I don't mean beat the fuck up like a beater shoe I mean like got jumped by a fucking street gang like <laughs> like there, there was no guns there was no knives that was brought to that fight niggas was really fighting and stumping this shoe like <laughs> All right, next up now, I know the whole Fear God collab is a thing and not all of them are terrible, but I'm just I'm cramming to understand the Air Fear God one. All right, if y'all can help me understand why this shoe is such in high demand, why people are like really going crazy to try to get this shoe and they paying $350 for it. If you follow me on IG, I um I reposted this picture of these next to some um next to next to some foot braces, cause it looks like a damn foot brace. It looks like something that you purchase from the damn medical supply store when you break your ankle or something. Like I don't, <laughs> it got laces. That's it. Look like a foot brace with laces. That's it. Like I don't really understand it. I don't understand the aesthetics of it is what I'm saying I get that it's Nike's attempt to make kind of a fashionable I guess basketball style shoe y'all let me know is this a shoe that 10 years from now we gonna care about like if you had this shoe or if you have this shoe either or 10 years from now when you look in your closet and you pull these out are you still gonna be excited about them I'm just I just feel like this is a for the now shoe that's just me though so I don't know all right next is the um the Air Max 270 ISPA now this one drops this month um $190 and I mean I for one I'm a fan of the Air Max 270 
just the regular Air Max 270. But this ISPA, it looks like Nike's attempt to make a utility um, version of the, the Air Max 270. But I don't know that, that, I don't know if this is plastic or what, like this plastic, it's plastic fencing. So I was I was going to say it looked like a helmet for the shoe, but <laughs> it's plastic fencing. So I'm just trying to figure out what's the what's the purpose? What's the purpose? It's supposed to be for Okay, so it is definitely a utility based shoe, but this is probably the worst utility design that I've seen. You know, they've made utility versions of the Ultra Boost. You know, they made uh utility versions of uh or the Presto. It's a couple different sorts of uh, utility. They made a utility version of the damn uh, Air Max 95. Like, it's actually like some really dope looking utility uh, versions of the of original shoes. Like, but this is not one of them. I'm just, I'm just not understanding it. I don't really. I maybe need to see these on feet, but this might be the worst utility shoe I've ever seen. All right, so the last two items I want to talk about, they start to get progressively better um, from a look perspective in my mind, but the it's, it's the Nike Adept. They made a basketball version of the shoe that's supposed to come out. Um, and that's also, I think, is like 320 bucks, or no, 350 bucks. So, listen, for these new innovations, it's cool that Nike is putting out these newer designs and some stuff that we've never had before. But these price tags, Jesus Christ. Now, with this one, it has a little extra technology. So, okay, you can justify it a little bit if, if you really want the shoe. Um, it's the self-lacing basketball shoe. So we know that they did the Nike Adapt before it was a running shoe. So now it's a basketball shoe. Um, for me, I mean, I, I'm, I'm far, far removed from my playing basketball days. But I can't imagine wanting a shoe to self-lace. Like one of the things that you definitely want to be able to do is lace a shoe to your liking. You know, so you can slash, cut, run, jump, however however you feel comfortable. Like, what happens when, you know, a cat is on the court and, uh, you know, he had it a little loose. Maybe he likes his joint loose, you know, so he's running. You know, he's on a fast break or some shit and suddenly the shoe automatically tightens up. And then what if his big toe get crossed under his second toe and he about to try to go up for a dunk? And he got two less toes working out for him. Like, what, what, what happens then? What, Nike, what does Nike do? How do you clean that up? You know? You know? You need your toes to be able to leap now. But if the shoe automatically does something, then maybe I'm taking this too far. <laughs> but I'm saying, like, a shoe like this, it auto, it auto laces. Okay, maybe it just power laces. But when I think of power lacing, I think there's a chance that this shit could go off without you even pushing the button and you, while you're wearing it. Because y'all remember like back in the day with the light up shoes? If you had the shoe for a long time and you've been wearing that joint, sometimes that light gets stuck, whether you stepping in it or not. Because how it used to work is like with each stride, it would light up. So foot hit the ground because you step in, light, light, light. But after a while, it don't matter. It's just lit. You just walking down the street with a light no matter what. Matter of fact, you could be kicking your feet up and your light on the shoe is still... Okay, we ain't talking about the light up shoes. But anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I, I just need for somebody to give me feedback after they wear this shoe. Because I'm definitely not getting it. But, you know, I don't really like this idea for for sports. But, you know. Maybe I'm just being old and grumpy. All right, lastly, I want to talk about um, the Air Max 720. All right, so here's the deal. I want to end this off with a with a new design that I actually I really like. <laughs> so I want this to all be like, oh Nike fucking up. But actually, the Air Max 270. I'm looking forward to it. It's super futuristic. If you look at the full air unit, like the underneath and everything, it has it just has this really just if this came out in the in the nineties, it probably wouldn't pop. But today, let's be happy this came out now. Cause this actually it looks like a hybrid of a few things. It looks like a it looks like a Air Max Plus 
mixed with a little bit of um, Air Max 97. Looks like a little bit of a 360, obviously, for obvious reasons because of the uh, extensive air bubble. But um, yeah, I mean, it has it has just a lot of of Air Max background in it. It's, it's dope, man. I'm looking forward to the right colorways for it. Um, this is something that I definitely would be wearing casually. Uh, definitely. I don't wear Air Max uh, to the gym. Air Max to me aren't really performance shoes anymore. They don't even design them for that. There's a couple of colors that I actually um, I think are dope. Uh, a couple of them I saw I think on Sneaker News or Soul Collector. Uh, there was like a vault colorway. A vault in black. And then there's another one with a... Uh, it's like teal and... Um, not like a navy blue, but it's a... It's a blend. It blends from like aqua blue or teal and then it goes into like a darker blue. So it's real sweet. I like it. Um, so what you guys think about these though? They, I mean, I, by comparison of the, of the 720, I don't know. I don't know. These might look better than the 720. I mean the um, 270, sorry. These might look better than the 270. So... I need some time with it. I need to let let it marinate, let it hit the market and everything and get some time with it. But anyway, those are my thoughts on uh, some of these creative uh, silhouettes that Nike has been bringing out lately. Again, I'm excited about there being new designs out there. We get a lot of the... Um, a lot of the retro based stuff a lot which I'm a huge fan of but it's refreshing to see some new stuff it's just that when they take it too far I mean some stuff they just taking it way too far so y'all let me know what y'all think about these things I'm gonna try to get back to you guys soon I do have a pickup that has been sitting on my living room floor uh, for about over a week um, so try to give y'all that maybe show y'all that on the next vid Maybe it'll pop in tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Listen now, the queen is out here, she's just grinding. I just finished, you know, just finished with most of my work for the day is Friday. Um, so we got a little bit of things to do, but it's supposed to be a snowstorm, so I need to get my stuff together so I can, uh, you know, um, you know, not have to really go out like that. So, uh, which I still have a lot to do over the weekend, but they're talking about a foot of snow. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah, I wish Chicago and uh and all it's a full strip going from I think the Midwest all the way to the northeast, so it's supposed to be pretty uh pretty wintry <laughs> around these parts. But um thank y'all for watching your girl Q the Queen. I'll be back soon. I appreciate your support. Remember to subscribe. Um and uh until next time. <laughs> Royalty. <laughs> Hyped up.